everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special guest who you may recognize from back when I did my Star Kid trivia quiz thing with my parents in December, whenever that was. Introduce yourself. I'm Carlo. I heard that. Yeah, okay. So this is my dad. <laughs> so for the past couple of, honestly, weeks, weeks now, we've been catching up on Supernatural. Oh no. <laughs> He doesn't know what we're doing today. You guys do by the, the title of the video, but he doesn't know what we're doing today. But we've been catching up on Supernatural. We're all caught up now, all finished with all the current episodes up to season 15. He hasn't seen the whole show, but he's seen a lot of it, including all of 14 and most of 13 and 15. Since we've been watching it, we've been talking a lot about the show and things surrounding the show. And if any of you guys are kind of familiar with the internet in general, but especially of Tumblr and everything, you probably know some of the fan culture that surrounds Supernatural and some of these other shows. So I thought it'd be very interesting today to see how much you know about fan fiction. Oh boy. Of all the terms. So I have a list here of, let's see how many. I have 11 terms for you. Okay. And I'm going to see if you've heard of any of them and what you know about them. And then okay. I have a special bonus last question. Wow. But I don't know, there's no winner because it's only you. So <laughs> <laughs> we're all losers By here. default, I'm a loser. Have you ever read fan fiction? Uh, I've read some Game of Thrones fac fan fiction years ago. Was it good? No, I didn't like it. <laughs> I mean, you can't write as good as George Do you know R. what Martin. website it was on? Uh, no, somebody uh, posted a link on a podcast that I used to listen to. Your first term, which I think you know this one, okay. is shipping. What is shipping? It means when somebody makes two characters have a relationship. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty simple one. Yeah. Do you ship anybody? Who do you ship? In this show, should I say? In any show, in, any, no, in I anything. Don't, no, I you never don't ship it. anybody. Nope. Not even in Game of Thrones. No, 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 no. What? No. Tell them a little bit. What like fandoms are you part of? What what stuff do you like? He's uh, a nerd. He 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 won't admit. I love Game of Thrones. I like stuff. Star Wars. The big one I've been into is uh, Stormlight Archives. The shirt. I don't even know what that which is. Which is a, <laughs> a series of books by Brandon Sanderson. Read them. They're amazing. Uh, this is not a pl place for promo. Uh, Don't be promo. I'm not. I'm not paid by. Work. I'm not paid by tour books. Hashtag for that. not sponsored. Uh, so those are big ones, and I read and li listen to all the podcasts. About really, those. what's your number one fandom? You haven't even mentioned your number one thing, the most important thing to you ever. Uh, Lord of Rings. Yeah. No, I, I think I like Brandon Sanderson better now. The Lord of the Rings yes. and Tolkien. I, it's becoming bigger. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. This is. Big That's how news, good guys. it is. <laughs> he 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 has he saw he saw a trilogy Tuesday all the movies yeah, yeah. directors cut i i don't know anybody who likes Lord yeah Lord. when i was a kid i wanted to live in middle earth i would like to be a hobbit being a hobbit yeah those would be brown cool. doors because they just like eat food and have parties and Smoke. stuff you wouldn't like the smoking though no but i would never have to wear shoes which is nice yeah yeah because i hate wearing shoes this is kind of a continuation all these kind of go in together okay. so what's an otp 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 and if you don't know what it stands for, you can just guess what it is. But if you know what it stands for... I don't for, know what it stands for, but I'm gonna, I'll, is it actually initials for something? Yeah, it stands for something. Out of the park? <laughs> no. <laughs> it has to do with shipping. I don't know. I don't think you might be able to guess no, what that is. No, I have no idea. So what do you think it is? Like, the meaning of it, even if you don't know the I would think the it's um, like a primary ship or having a secondary one or something like that. <laughs> kind of. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so it stands for one true pairing. Ah. So what do you think that means? That that that's the ultimate one that everybody really loves. Not everybody. It's just your your own. Oh, personal. your own personal one. So like you have your okay. own OTP. Who's your OTP? Uh, in, in what show? In anything. I don't have. I told you. I don't ship. <laughs> you don't ship anybody. There's no movie, no book that you want two characters to get together, or if they are together, that you like them the most. I liked when Sam went with um, Rosie Cotton in uh, in Lord of the Rings. I don't even know. I, I, I did, I did I, like that. I don't think I've watched Lord of the Rings in like ten years. He I does, literally he, can't remember anything. Spoiler alert, he, he does marry her at the end, which, oh. is, which is wonderful. I mean, I don't, I don't know if you could really spoil books that are like eight okay. years old. That's true. <laughs> Those books are old. Even um, the movies are now like 15 years old. Yeah. One true pairing. So that's your OTP is Sam, Samwise? Sam, I mean, he's the only one I ever thought about. That girl. I let the, There's I let nobody the... in Game of Thrones that you ship? No. Not even like casually? You're like, oh, they were nice together. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like characters together. Do you know who my OTP is? Yours? Yeah. I think you do. I think Cass we've talked about No. <laughs> No. Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce my little guys here. I have my all my, my Funko Pops. I thought they were appropriate for this. A little Stormtrooper guy. I don't know this guy's name, but he's the one... That's Dean in costume. <laughs> he's the one in, in Force Awakens that goes, Traitor! Traitor! 
Um, so these they can have a fight. And then I have Chewbacca with his little crossbow. And I have uh, Finn. And then I have Castiel, who's not a he's not a bobblehead. He's an angel. That's why. He doesn't need a, a bobblehead. No, there's no angel bobbleheads. <laughs> so OTP is your one trip pairing. That's your top ship. So what's a no TP? You never ship them. Kind of, yeah. It's like the thing you the ship you hate yeah, most. Yeah, it's like you. Yeah. Which I have a lot of those. I have a lot Captain of Captain America there. and Anise. <laughs> The worst? Why? Why do they do that? That is the worst moment in any movie ever when he kisses Cast Sharon. Your Uncle Bobby. Oh, that's that's a nothing. You know what that is? That's not a term I have, but that's a crack ship. Okay. That's just a ship that's like so ridiculous. You have to that be on crack funny. to like it. Kind of. That's kind of the, the right. where the title comes from. So your next one is slash. Do you know what slash means? I'll give. You, I'll, I'll tell you. It's a Somebody type. Was- Somebody's killed off. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> very, very different. It's, it's a type of pairing. Angry shit. <laughs> no. Slashed? Slashed. Just, no, not slashed. No, it's not a verb. So it, it refers to the, the two types of, the type of people that's being shipped together. I have no idea. Okay, so a slash ship is a same-sex pairing. Oh, okay. Usually it's referred specifically to men, and when it's women, they usually say fem slash, okay. but it, do you know where it comes from? What fandom it comes from? It's old, too. It does not come from the internet. It comes from, like, fanzines. Friends? No. Older than that. Oh, jeez. Like, a, uh, one of the OG movies? fandoms. TV show. TV show. It comes from an old TV show. That's still, it still exists in other forms today, but not the original show that it was. Mm-hmm. The reason is it's this character slash this character is how it's like written out. Yeah, yeah. It comes from Star Trek. Wow. Yeah, from Spock. I'm Kirk. a huge Star Trek fan too. Oh yeah. Original. Nerd. Fan. Original Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, it comes from the original Star Trek of, wow. of Spock and Kirk in like fanzines and things like that, that, okay. that people would ship them and, and. That's how. That's why it's called Slash. Spock and Kirk, but he's an, an alien, so does that count? Yes, yeah, he's a man. He, but uh, all right. I think the Vulcans still have men and women yes, in their they society, do. I'm right? Being, that's I'm what I'm being, saying. I'm being you're being annoying. Yeah, the next term you might know because of all your your fandoms that you're in is canon. What does canon mean? Canon means something that's considered the actual story by the yeah. person who created the. The, the, yeah, it's official. Yes, yeah, the official story from the writer or the creator. But now I have to to build onto that. What okay. is fanon? It's changes made by the fans that are agreed upon. Kind of. Yeah, it's like something that's so widely accepted within yeah. the fandom that it's like almost its own canon. Okay. Like a weird one is that is kind of Starkit's fault. <laughs> is a lot of people in the Harry Potter fandom will just say that Hufflepuffs are particularly good finders. But okay. that comes from Starkit. That comes from oh from the show from, oh. from a very Potter musical yeah. but it's become so ubiquitous on the internet that people just like take it as a thing your next one is head canon what's a head canon that's something that the writer of the fan fiction comes up and believes is true kind of it doesn't have to be in a fan fiction it's just anything anyone believes about like their own belief about. okay like so the, it's a personal thing right? yeah not widely like you have you can have your I'm sure you have your own head cannons oh yeah I've got a lot of stuff what's a head cannon you have What's the like stupidest one that you have? Something that would be different from what's actually in the books or something. Like not that. like it doesn't. It's not like oppositional to it. No, no, it's just something. But something that's not in the book. Like, something additional. I to could it. like headcanon that Dean's favorite flavor of pie is blueberry. Okay. Like that's a really, really dumb example. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like a thing that's not specified in the show. But, but you, like, but I you, believe it. Yeah. You infer or you. Usually, it's a lot deeper of things. No, no, okay. <laughs> someone's favorite flavor of pie. Does he say what his favorite flavor of pie is in the show? I don't. I've never seen. Beer you say flavor. you've never seen it? I've never seen him refer to oh, pie. Oh, I, I know he loves you know, pie. You've seen Supernatural. No, no, I never. I, he's never referred to a specific flavor of pie. Yeah, I don't know. I think he likes whiskey flavor pie. <laughs> well, you can have like, like whiskey pecan pie, things like that. Alcohol and pie does sound like something he would like. Like I, all right, I would, I would, I would imagine Dean does not like hamburgers with peanut butter and jelly on it. Ew. Which is really good. So that's a head cannon. Yeah, that's something that I, I, that I imagine him eating that. To be an and I've had those that are really good, but he would probably Ew. Like, no, oh, this is not for really me. That's really gross. Peanut butter. I've never had that. Peanut butter on a burger. Yeah, Fermentella I don't think he would like that either. Another, another plug. <laughs> Plus, if you, Wells Brothers. If you're in Tallahassee. <laughs> if you're in Tallahassee, go to Wells Brothers. The best peanut butter and jelly burgers ever. Our only headcanons are about what type of food Dean Winchester uh, eats. I always <laughs> imagined that Gandalf knew what was going to happen 
a lot deeper than he said, and he, he maybe even subconsciously. Yeah, that's and, a good one. And that's he, like a deep one. He had this pull towards doing the right thing because he felt it, and it was planted by yeah. the Maya, the gods. Yeah, like I have, I had canon that Han Solo, when he's going to go, this is a spoiler for Force Awakens if you haven't seen it, <laughs> but when Han Solo was going to talk to uh, Kylo Ren on that bridge thing that he knew he was going to die, like as soon as he decided to do it. That's my head canon. But I don't know if that's true, but... Yeah, I had a lot of them for Game of Thrones, but the last season and a half completely ruined it, so it, you know, <laughs> I don't care anymore. Until I read the next two books. But that's another thing you can do with, with fandom, is just ignore things. I, that, I, yes, I've ignored that. That, <laughs> that happens in the series, or it happens that the writers have said, you're just like, nope, not my canon. That's... <laughs> okay, so the last three are more specific to fanfic. So number nine is songfic. What do you think a songfic is? Somebody writes a song that has to do with some, the show or the... No. The fiction? No, you're kind of backwards. I mean backwards. Like you're getting at the opposite of what it oh, is. Oh, there's a song in the show. No. Or the, or the... <laughs> you're moving farther away from it. I have no idea. That so it's specifically know. about a fan fiction. It's a type of fan fiction that you write. Oh, like a like a like a musical one. You made a musical. <laughs> no, you don't write a musical fan fiction. Although maybe if you guys know any musical fan fictions, I'd I'd be down to read that. Sorry, I have to get up. I might be in a slightly different position. So a song. A song fic. Song fic. Let me try again. Is somebody writes a song that tells a story about the fan fiction about the no. story. No. You're not writing a song based on fiction. You're writing a fan fiction based on song lyrics. Oh. So it could be in a fandom still, but like I'm writing a fanfic about I don't know. Han Solo, but like based on the lyrics of, of a Coldplay song. Oh, wow. But does it have to be based on something that's existing? Yeah, it has to be a fanfic still, but it, it's like inspired oh, by song okay. lyrics or it uses song lyrics in okay. the fanfiction. That makes sense. Yeah. It's not like you take a song and then you write a whole story. No, you don't from that. You don't write a fanfiction about Rocky Raccoon. You write you write a fanfiction about I would, I, would, I would actually read that. Lord of the Rings <laughs> with the lyrics of Rocky Raccoon no. in it. Uh, bon Jovi. Or, <laughs> what what are the names of in, in that song? Write a fanfiction about Tommy and Gina? Yeah. <laughs> Gino used to work on a dock in, in Middle Earth. Your next one, this is a big one. This okay. is like huge. In all the fandoms I'm in for sure, but I think probably in every fandom. What is an AU? Is augmented the first word? No. no. U stands for universe. Alternate universe. Yeah. So like what would that be? With the same characters and, or, and everything else, but they're kind of they're doing something different. Like give an example of what you think it is. Uh, like so if I wrote Star Trek alternate universe, Kirk is a doctor instead of the instead of the cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Spock is, I don't know, a warrior instead of this intellectual guy. Yeah, basically. So it's like, it's really broad. It can be anything that's different from the original story. So okay. it can either be canon divergent, is like one of the things. So like, everything's the same except for when they get to Mordor, one of them dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it goes on from there. That's like an alternate universe that's just canon divergent. But then you could do something like Coffee Shop AU. That's like a really uh, common one. Wait, where yeah. instead of it being, you know, Lord of the Rings, it's like they work, one of them works in a coffee shop and they uh, are, meet in, yeah, in Arag a cafe. Aragorn's a hipster barista. Yeah, like literally, that's what it is. It's like, or like a really, really popular one is like a college or high school AU. So instead of like uh, being in Middle Earth, they're like they're at high, like school, high school and like Gandalf is a teacher and then all the other guys okay. are, are in a class together they're or something. In a, they're in a school called Hogwarts. <laughs> Actually, that gets to my next one. The okay. next question is, what oh, do you boy. think a crossover is? That I knew. I, it's yeah, what's a crossover? Put That's easy. Character from one universe in another universe. Yeah, basically. So like you would have. Uh, yeah, ho Hogwarts, Harry Potter crossovers are huge. Like that episode of Scooby Everything. Doo on. <laughs> like Scooby Natural. Ah, you're a cartoon. I'm a cartoon. I'm a cartoon. That is such a good episode, guys. If you even if you don't watch Supernatural or if you haven't. Here's the thing. If you haven't watched it in a while, because a lot of people stopped watching it a while ago, just watch the Scooby-Doo episode. Watch Scooby Natural. Don't watch anything else from the season recent is? seasons. I think 14. It's in season go. 14. It's so good. But yeah, it's a crossover between Scooby-Doo and Supernatural, which sounds like it would be crazy. And it is, it but is it works really, really good. good. It's, it's so good. Your your final question. So uh -oh. there's, well, their final Drum term, roll. I guess. 
Well, I guess these are more questions, questions, not, yeah, yeah, not right. terms. So, do you know any websites that host fanfic? What any of the websites are called? I know I've I read something about Game of Thrones years ago. I don't remember which website. So it was. one of the fanfiction.net is one of the. That's like the noob site. I literally was gonna say, is one of them called fanfiction.com? That's considered like like the noob site. It's, it's right. There's like subheadings and stuff. You can look at all the different. Yeah, it's very fantasy, like science fiction. A lot of younger fans are I on it, imagine. and it's a lot of Harry Potter. I, I haven't been on fanfiction.net in a long time, but when I was when I used to look on it, it was always Harry Potter stuff. That one video we watched where the guy was reading the fanfiction about him. Oh, are you talking about Danny Gonzalez? Yeah. Yes. Be my boyfriend? Yes. That was probably from Wattpad, if I had to guess. Most most stuff like that, YouTuber stuff and band stuff, is all on Wattpad, which is also hosts original stories. Live journal used to be big back in the olden days, <laughs> but not really anymore. People don't really use live <laughs> journal as much. But if you were on in like 2005, maybe, okay. live journal would have been the big one. And people can put critiques and comment on Yeah, people stuff. do comments and reviews and all that, all that stuff and leave like, not cool. likes. They're called different things on different websites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the big one, I'd say now probably the biggest one for the big fandom. So for Star Wars, Harry Potter, the, all those Marvel, yeah, yeah. Game of Thrones, is all on AO3. So do you know what that stands for? I bet you could never guess. What AO3. It AO3. No, I don't. So it's not the three isn't actually it's it's like the words are an A and then th three words and start with an O. Oh. I have no idea. Yeah, it's it's There's really no hard. It's really it. hard to tell. It's it's archive of our own. Oh. So yeah. So AO3 is like the big one now. Like that's where all the fanfic I read is on for sure. And it's where I think it's where most of just like the modern kind of stuff is. You should check it out. Oh, I'll be right on it right now. <laughs> so if you had to pick another fandom that you would read a fanfic of, what fandom would you read a fanfic of? Not Game of Thrones. Star Trek. You'd want to read a Star original Trek. Star Trek. Yeah, because I love Star Trek. I didn't really like Star Trek that much. You I, never talked about Star Trek. I had Trek. a compendium with every episode and descriptive. Oh, stuff. nerd! <laughs> My college days. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I don't know. You're nerdier than me, I think. I am the nerdiest. He reads ever. more. I don't read anything. I read. I only read fanfic. <laughs> <I don't read. laughs> Not true. I do read regular books. That's what I'm saying. I don't read too. fanfic because I like reading books. Yeah, I don't really read that I much think, anymore. Because the writers are usually better writers than the fanfic people. There, there are some no, good I'm writers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are really bad and they don't no, have no, any no. grammar. No, but the, yeah, the, uh, the the one fanfic I read actually was pretty good writing. Not as good yeah. as George R. R. Martin, but it was pretty good. The thing good. the thing is, it depends. Like some people post them completely unedited and unproofed, yeah, but yeah. there are people that legit like you know spend yep. months on fanfic and, and have editors and all that stuff. All for our enjoyment. Thank you to all the fans. Oh, and uh, out there. another big one I like and I've been to. I didn't even mention it was uh, the Wheel of Time. Oh yeah, Wheel of Time. That's fourteen. He loves books. Wheel of Time. I thought you finished with those. Yeah, I'm done. You're done. Yeah, there's a lot of fanfic in those. Those books are like that big. So the Wheel of Time is coming out on Amazon as a show. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know anything. Else. I know what you've told me about it. That's fantastic. But another great know. book series for you kids who like to read. Kids? kids? What do you think watches my channel? People younger than me, so I can call them kids. That's true. They are probably most I don't think you have many 50 plus year olds watching. Uh, maybe a few. I'll look at my uh, uh, analytics. Maybe I have a couple. All you 50 plus year olds out there, thanks for watching. Would you ever consider writing a fanfic? Uh, I've never written I've a fanfic. I've always wanted to write, but I, I don't know if I want to write something from scratch, though. You I've, could, that could I've be got like, stories in my head. You that know? could be like your practice. That's that what a lot of people be. do. It's just like an exercise, a writing exercise. Yeah, I took writing classes in college where I wrote like short stories. Wow, in college. That was like eight, eight Hey, I have a degree ago. too. Yes, when when Da Vinci was my professor. <laughs> so what if you were to write a, a fanfic of any fandom, what would it be? Star Wars? I, I, you always talk about all your ideas for the prequels. And what oh you yeah, no, I would, yeah, but it, mine would be completely alternate universe. Yeah, but that, that counts. Yes, I would, yes. As long as it's still in the Star Wars I would rewrite the, the prequel and remake it and make it better and yes, I'm gonna do that. You just make it better than George Lucas. I would write an outline first and see if people like the outline. That's something you could post on Reddit. Yeah. And then That's something you could post on Reddit. Here's an outline. Here's how I think. And then if you want to actually write it, then you post it on Reddit. Yeah, and I was, gonna, I was actually going to put an outline of how I wanted the... Uh, how I thought the Game of Thrones should have ended the season eight. That's like a thing that exists. I've seen those kind yeah. of things on. Um, yeah. That happens Here's with a lot of a it. lot of shows and stuff that you see. People will just write like how I think it should have. 
and did. So yeah, I would I would write probably that if I had to really. So you didn't like the ending of Game of Thrones. <laughs> I hated it. It was horrible. I need to read the books quickly because I needed to empty to, to that cleanse crap yourself. out That's of my That's what fanfic brain. is for. You could read yes, fanfic I know. of what the season was supposed to be like. like you think I didn't do that when George I came R. home Martin's from fucking uh, Endgame? And I was like, that was terrible. Do you know what a fix-it fic is? Yeah, when you when you take something that you don't like and you fix it. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I would do for the Yeah, I'm sure season. there's tons of fix it fic for Game of Thrones oh, season. Oh, people not like that. Whatever. Season 8. Season 8,000. Seven and a half, three. I, that, I think, yeah, I think I've literally seen Star Trek would be cool because there's episodes. Remember when I was in college, there was episodes that I would like to have seen? Yeah, that's a big thing of Like, you know, it would have been very similar to the episodes, just with my, my, you know, my one episode. Yeah, that's like a big thing. Like in Supernatural, a lot of people make their own, like, monsters of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stories is just like a short yeah. little thing of like it wouldn't oh, really what if change anything. They all the fought characters this just, monster yeah, that, that they never fought. I used to or, think about those quite a bit when I was in college. I bet if you were in college now, you'd be a fanfic writer. I probably would because I wrote because of a the lot. internet. Because back then you had to be like yeah in fanzines yeah, but there, and clubs. But and back stuff then like that. there was no playstations and Xboxes either, so that that would take up some of my time. You know, there's so much. You kids have a lot. Not like when I was young. <laughs> back in yeah, back in 1823, it took so much more effort right. to be a part of a fandom like that. Oh yeah, yeah. You couldn't just go on your phone. Yeah, or, you need to go and find it and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, subscribe to. I mean, fanzines. people would yeah, people would actually send the fanzines out. Somebody in their yeah. in their room with with the with the mimic machine or whatever. You know, you make copiers. Yeah. It wasn't even a copy. Like a it was like a machine. You had to turn it and it would make a, a copy and it smelled so really. How old are you? I'm old enough to remember that. <laughs> we knew when it was fresh off the presses, it smelled. When, when did Star Trek start airing? The, no, the first start, the original one was like 71, 72. I was really little. I never You were seen. alive. Future Savannah here with a correction. Uh, the original Star Trek actually aired in 1966, so my, my dad would have been born, but he would not have been living in the United States at the time, so... Take that. Who knows more about Star Trek now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. But you didn't start watching until you were a little older. I was probably 12, 13. So you were here, you in America, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although He's they, an immigrant. I'm an immigrant. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I watched uh, the first Star Treks probably when I was like 9, 10 years old. You were in America. And I was in America, in England. Did they air? Did, yeah, did they air? No, they Star Trek's known in Italy, yeah. All now the, or was it back then, too? Guerra de la Stella, Star Wars. That was a huge one. You said Star Wars. That's, that's, that's what they call Star Trek? Or no, 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 no. I don't know what they call Star Trek in Italian. But I know it was there. I know, weirdly, that The Walking Dead Walking is so Dead. popular in Italy. And not like, oh, it's just like, you know, shows are popular there that are popular here. Like, that one is like disproportionately popular there. Because right, whenever that... you search memes of Walking Dead, because I was trying to find like Carl memes, right, right. you know, Carl, that thing. They were like all in Italian. And I was like, what the heck? And it's like really popular That's in Italy. That's a show why. that... I really liked the first couple seasons, but I, I like an ending to a show. Yeah. So I would write an ending to that show. after I would rewatch the first three seasons and then write an ending to that show. That I would do. That would be good. That's that's a goal. Write your own ending yeah. of After I retired. The years. Walking Dead. I wonder, I don't know, I don't really know anything about it The Walking Dead. It just goes on so and on. I don't know who the, that's the why. Are. That's why, you know, Breaking Bad so great. It ends, you Mr. know. Mr. Robot. Yeah, shows like that that have, you know, yeah. be beginning, middle, and end. But not Supernatural. On. We've been we've been here for 15 years. Yeah, but Supernatural is <laughs> kind of like a meta story. It, 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 that's a kind of. That, yeah, but it's very different. The first, it's the not, key seasons are very different right, than right. it is now. But it my was, point is. It originally would have been. They're not episodes. hurt by going on it. Like, all right, I'm. I mean, that's it. arguable. Walking Dead is literally the same thing every week. It's like, all right, you wanna, you want. I don't want to get into a whole thing about Walking Dead. <laughs> I stopped watching the three. I don't know so anything about that show. I know Jeffrey Dean Morgan's in it, and he has the bat thing, and that's about all I know. And then there's that Asian guy, but I don't know. I think he died. And then what's his name? Norman Reedus. Oh yeah, Norman Reedus is He's in there. He's the big one. I see. I only knew him from the the Judas music. <laughs> And then the main guy. Literally, that's the only place I'd ever seen him. And he's on an episode of Law and Order and that I watched once. He's great in yeah, that game's good. But he's oh, he's in that video game. Yeah. Um. Death Stranding. You still never guessed my OTP. Uh, Star Wars. It's not Star Wars. I don't ship anybody from Star Wars. Oh wow. I completely divorced myself from Star Wars fandom online. I I don't. That's a whole thing. I, I have a whole Twitter thread about it if you want to find out that's, my that's, feelings about Star Wars band. That's a good idea. Um, I don't remember. What do you think the most popular ship on AO3 is? Archive of Our Own. That's like the big the big one. I don't know which website actually has the most fanfic, but of people that I know and fandoms that I'm in, that's the biggest website. Uh, Marvel. And this is... 
by the end Bucky of... Bucky and Captain America. Is that... Which one are you saying? My, the top or my OTP? Both. No, it's not both. It is one. Which one is it? Yours. Yeah, that's my OTP. That's your slash? Yeah, it's not as a slash ship. But here's the thing. I'm not like a huge shipper besides the very few things that I ship because most of the couples that I like are canon couples. So it's like there's no... I'm not going to read fanfic about that because it's in the show. But I really, really like... Okay. Stucky, I love Bucky and Steve, and I know they're never gonna be canon, so it's fun to read stuff yeah. about them. So, who are, um, so what's the biggest one? So what you have to guess. Is it in the Marvel universe as well? No, it's not in Marvel. Is it Star Wars? No, it's not in Star Wars. Jeez, oh, I have no idea. What you it's... definitely could guess it. I'm saying you know what it is. You've heard of it before. Is it something that I watched or you're into? Yes, I he don't... knows. He knows deep in his soul. <laughs> And this is this is by the end of 2019 because the last stats I could find. Oh, right? is it? Is the it? Wrap up. Is it the? Uh, yeah, it's it's Destiel. <laughs> yeah, they have. Do you know how much? How many works they have of them on Ao3? Oh my God. Currently, <laughs> how many do you think? Thousands. Yeah. Tens of thousands. How many? Just give a, a number. 133,000. No, not that much. Okay, 50,000. More. More than that, 90,000. A little less. 75,000. I'll split the difference. <laughs> a little bit more. Oh my God, 85,000. <laughs> You're really close. Right now, it's around 83,000. Oh my God. And not all those are completed though. Some of those are. Okay. And I think by the when they took the stats at the end, because it might be different at this moment, but when they did the stats at the end of they the year, they call them Destiel. Destiel, yeah. D Keenan. There's a joke about it, and I don't know if you've seen that episode when when they go to the high school and the high school are putting on a musical. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and and he's really Dean's like really mad about that, and Sam's like, why don't they ship me and Cass. It's so great. <laughs> How about Sastio? Sam's Okay, all right. Yeah, they're the number one. Wow. They're the number one ship on, or at least they were of 2019. And they have been for the past couple of years. That's amazing. They're huge. They're so big. That's crazy. Yeah. That's do you ship wild. SEL? What do you think of SEL? I could see it happening. <laughs> that's that's a ringing endorsement from him. Yeah, since you don't I ship could, anything. No, I could see, I mean, there's definitely some tension there. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your OTP of Supernatural? Supernatural? Yeah, what couple do you like the most on Supernatural? I don't remember all the couples. It doesn't have to be canon. It can be somebody that you think just would be good together. I think Sam and Eileen are uh, nice. Sorry. I like Sam and Eileen a lot, They're too. very good. She's only been in a couple episodes. She seems good season, for him, and he but... he's the kind of guy who wants to help people. And Yeah, you know, that, that, yeah I think I think that they if either of them were going to settle down with somebody it has to be a hunter like i don't think they could ever yeah 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 no be not, with somebody who's not a hunter the, so the, the fact that she's a hunter is like yep i agree good and he's yeah i think they're good for each other i like her a lot i didn't like bobby and the mom oh my god they never really, but, <laughs> that you know, was awful but they never really showed them yeah nothing they really implied. went i think that they tried it and then they were like oh this is weird and then stopped. yeah they kind of never even brought them back yeah after, yeah but that's good. that's your otp that's my no it's my well <laughs> there you're supernatural otp no I, I, I would i would make it destiel you know why not good good answer why would i go against the tens of thousands yeah the eighty thousand. tens of thousands can't be wrong yeah we can have Good at him. He's so precious. Is that it? So I got my thing. You got your one thing. My questions. Yeah. I know about. I don't know how many after. you got right. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, you know, look at them afterwards. Yeah, I can put a number. I don't think many. I, yeah, I mean, you I, didn't. You knew a couple. I was in the neighborhood. The, the song one. I this was more. Got this was more of an educational video That's right. rather than. A, you live and you learn. Uh, rather than a, a quiz, because I just wanted to teach you since That's right. since you're so into supernatural now. <laughs> I am a huge fan. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? I like Castiel. I like Cassiel, though. Yeah, I like cool. Cassiel. Cass is my favorite. Uh, no, I, why, my favorite. That's why I have his. I little, like Jack. I I <laughs> thought you would say that because when we were watching, like I think it was four, season fourteen, you were like. You know why? Because I didn't Cass, see them all Jack. the way through, so I didn't see all their arcs. You know, whereas Jack, I saw him from the beginning, and. That's true. So to me, you know, he's kind of a place in my heart. It's I like, want to see a side show with him with those kids that he played with. Yes, and the no of Jack and the and the kids from Lebanon. Yeah. Any parting thoughts? Any. Any thoughts about fan? Are you going to be a fanfic writer now? No, I mean, I'm not going to be a writer. I told you which one. Are you going to read any fanfic? Uh, I can send you some good ones. No, I, I you know what? I'm going to look into some of the Brandon Sanderson. I want to like to see from, uh, from. I don't know uh, how much. What, what do you think? Archives the, what do you think the Mistborn? demographics of that fandom are? That's no, no, no they're younger. I'm, but I'm saying of everything, of age, gender, like, who do you think reads those books? Because most male-dominated no, no, no. fandoms, there's not. No, like no, no, no. Fandoms. It's a lot of females. Like Juliana's friends, all, uh, all her female friends have read those books too. So, you know, I'm on. Yeah, the, women write more. I'm on the Facebook uh, 
fan page for that. Yeah, but Facebook's comment. for like boomers. Yeah, but there's no, no, there's a lot of younger women who are on there. <gasps> I'm kidding. Tumblr's no, kind of like the, Tumblr. the hub of fandom. <laughs> they don't want me on Tumblr. You don't even follow me. I don't follow any. I, don't I have like Tumblr seven my life. blogs on Tumblr. I have Good so job. many Tumblr blogs. But only my main ones, like actually. So I told you, I would, I would write one about, I would write one to fix uh, my order. The one that, what my dream would be to, f to fix the prequels for Star Wars. And then end the ending of uh, of, not, of the, the, <laughs> the Walking season. Dead. End of Walking Dead. And I would say fix the season eight, or, but, but what's his name is writing two more books. So he'll fix it. Oh, oh. Uh, Jared Martin's Jared writing. Jared Martin. He's got two more books. He'll fix it. Now, if he does a terrible job, I might have to fix it myself. I think he's so those are the three. He's one of the authors that's really against fanfic. Like he hates it. Him and Rice is the other one. If they like are like it's my story. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, well then finish the books. <laughs> It'll take twenty but, years. Like, I don't know. I think that's dumb that 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 some of the authors get so like offended. Yeah, yeah. They're like, if you want to write, write your own story. It's like, but we don't want that. We want I wanna see Daenerys in college. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or whatever. No, that's that's my thing. I think fanfics are probably cool. A lot easier, like you said, than when I was younger on the internet. Yeah. Um, it's cool. Yeah, I'll send you some. If you like to subscribe, hit the like button. Is it down there or down I here? don't know. I don't know what side it's, it's on. It's on the left it's side. It's somewhere here. Bottom there. It's down there. Okay. And uh, and the bell. Notification, Notification bell. Notification bell. Uh, watch my Tell other Tell all your friends. Videos. Yeah, share this, comment, whatever. Tell me, what fans are you in? What fanfic do you like to read? Any good recommendations that I should send to him to read? I, and I can't wait to see the edited version of this. Thanks for coming on my channel. No problem, anytime. I'm right down the hall. <laughs> for now. Stay safe, everyone. Yeah, stay safe, everybody. Bye. I, I wear this jacket because it has the most uh, fandoms on it.